Hey, hey, hey! How's everybody? Happy Wednesday! <coughs> if you're here, let me know. Um, my internet, as always, is a little bit slow, so I might not actually see you <coughs> when you first pop on, but I am so excited about today. Today is Pajama Crafters' uh, first release, or it's my first release. So, hi Sandy, hi Lisa, how are you? So, um, we kept hinting all December that there were some really big things that were coming up. <coughs> and my voice is shot, as always, but, um, so we kind of did hops and we did everything that was kind of celebration toned. And so we just released something called It's the Celebration which is an all occasion kind of a winter themed um, release but it will take you actually into Mother's Day if you look closely. Let's see, um, Jen Palmer's here, hello. Michelle's here, hello. Um, anyhow, first things I want to say before we get into the release and what we're going to do today. With the new year came a new company, a new logo, a new design team, a new everything. Except for me, I'm still here. This design team has been phenomenal. Every single sample that you guys have seen out on, online, it's all them. They have listened to every critique. They have thought out of the box to show you guys different examples, and they are killing it. So thank you to my team. I just hope that you guys are here to um, to hear me say that, that I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I see Sean's online, and hey, Shalana, Shalana, you are just like unbelievably talented, and I thank you. Okay, <clears throat> so these are the card samples that I have for um, the new release. So I'm going to show you the cards, and then we'll go into the stamps. So this is the I Love You More Than Cookies, so this will take you into... Um, Valentine's Day or anything. I mean, you can make cookies for anything, and I think a heart is pretty much for anything. So I just put that on a simple tag and an embossed background. In fact, most of my cards are pretty clean and simple for me anyway. My team is the one that really um, knocked it out of the park. Now, this is called the Flippin' Best. That's it. That um, the I love you more than cookies was part of the Flippin' Best, too. But you can see that it's got a nice... Um, birthday sentiment to it and feel so again not only does this is this perfect for winter because it's the penguins valentine's things you know um i almost said thanksgiving you guys i'm so crazy so happy birthday now this is um when i asked the artist to draw this i was trying to channel my inter vintage so I colored this in a very vintage vibe. Now my design team went completely different with it and they did some vibrant coloring. So if these are not, these muted tones aren't your thing, you need to go see what the design team did because phenomenal. Um, Lisa Newman and Rick Atkins, holy cow, check out their cards. Speaking of checking out their cards, we have an Instagram hop going on and it, it lasts until um, the 15th. And we're giving away a $25 gift card to the store if um, your name should be drawn. So you should head over there and see what everybody's been doing and hop along. Now this is um, like the funnest stamp of all. This is the uh, sliding by. So you've got a sled, you've got the fisherman that's doing the ice fishing. And this one says you're a catch. And I think that this, this is super fun. And I use the stitch scallop borders that are in the shop to create the hillsides. So that's how I cut that nice little scallop there. And then this one is my best friend. Now, the next two cards that I'm gonna share with you are very uh, near and dear to my heart. So this is a Chihuahua, which um, my BFF um, loves Chihuahuas and her mom's uh, dog is named Yoda. And this is what Yoda looks like, but um, I made this look like a Rainbow Bridge type card, even though um, Yoda is still with us, but I just thought it would be fun to show it, you know, in multiple ways. So I just used some strips of, like quarter inch strips and glued it down on an embossed background. And then guys, <coughs> this is um, 
Hi, Lisa. Hi, Becky. Um, you totally missed the scallop. I know, Lisa. You got to stick with it. Hi. Um, is it? Is it? I always say this wrong. Is it Sarah? You're gonna have to tell me how to say it. I always want to say it wrong. But uh, this is my dog Butters. Uh, he's my 14-year-old Yorkie. And I know that he's rather large for a Yorkie, but my dog is about 30 pounds. He's insanely huge. I love him more than anything. And um, so I, he needed to be on my inaugural um, release. So that's him. And one of these days I'm going to show you guys how to color this, but this took quite a while to do. So we're not going to do that tonight. Before we get into the release, well, we're going to get into some of the release. And this is my cockatoo behind me. This is Gracie. So some new, some new and old things that are on, are in the website or yeah, in the, in the shop. So if you didn't get the memo, we are now www.pajamacrafterstamp. I'm sorry, pajamacrafterstamps.com. So that's where you find the new shop. This has been part of the Prickly Pear family for a while. These uh, brush holders. And what makes ours different than most that are on the market is that they are on a Lazy Susan. So it spins. So no matter where you put this on your desk, you can always um, grab everything. So, oh, it's like Sire. Rhymes with fire. Thank you, Sire. I apologize. I always, I've always wanted to know how to pronounce it. I've only seen you online. So anyway, we've got this in green. We've got it in purple. And we've got it in the blue and you're wondering why I'm showing you these one because we've got them and I don't think most people know about it too because they're completely different from most that are on the market because they spin but I think I've been talking to you guys a lot about rabbit hole designs um, brushes these happen to be my favorite brushes and I've always told you the guys that I will only share with you guys things that I love and I have in my craft room so I have had these, I don't know, maybe about four years now. They are well loved. As you can tell, I mean, they, they're stained through and through. Um, but I love them. They've got, they're just pliable enough that you don't break this, um, the heads off if you're heavy handed like I am. Now these are from, um, um, the tags are from Etsy. I don't know who I got this from. But you can find them at pretty much anywhere on Etsy. But I do keep these, so I keep about... 12 of them, one for my oxides and one for my um, dye inks. So I wanted you to see that. I'm going to put these off behind me. So like I said, these are in the shop and you get two to a pack. Um, so be sure to check those out if you are in the market for a really good brush. We're going to move on to the next kind of brush. These are also the rabbit hole. They'll be in the future order, Sandy. Hey, that's fine. I get it. So I know some of you ladies think that this might be a feminine hygiene product. <laughs> but this is from the Rabbit Hole Designs. And these are their uh, itty bitty brushes. I'm just going to go grab one of mine that's um, already been used. Again, I do um, have a set for oxides and, and, and a set for dye inks, but this is what they look like. Again, they're branded with the rabbit hole designs. I took the string off mine, but in hindsight, I wish I hadn't. So these do have the string, so you can hang them up like on, on your wall, on a clip or whatever. So I would recommend keeping the string, but again, it's your craft room, you do you. I wouldn't want anybody to tell me how to do my room, so you do what makes you happy. Okay, another thing that's new to the shop are the embossing, what is she calling these? I always get this mixed up. Messed up. The rabbit hole designs cottontail embossing powder tool. So this here is part of the kaolin clay that goes inside here. And then I've got one that I, I've had for at least three years. So this is the chamber that it goes in. So it's got this extra cap that just screws off. Then you dump that um, clay in there. And then this is just a, a second lid on there. Now there will be another lid here. 
But do you see how there's barely any powder on there at all? You really don't have to keep pumping that. All you need is just a very little and put it down on your paper. But in case you do need more powder, you just pump it and then you get the more powder. But less is more in my opinion. But um, again, emboss away, but these are available in the shop right now. Again, that's pajamacrafterstamps.com. And the reason I am repeating that is because we just went from percolypair.com to Pajama Crafter. So we want you guys to go to the new store because the other one's going to be, well, essentially it's already closed down. Gracie has a live later crafting with a cockatoo or with a cuckoo. Um, hi, Shannon. How are you? Um, speaking of Shannon, have you guys seen her crazy live that she did over on her page? Amazing. And then her uh, card that's pink with the penguins, I think it's the sliding by. Amazing. You guys have to check it out. Go hop and win some prizes. The next thing that's in the store, did I lose it already? Oh, no. So we've got some new uh, jewel pickers, crafters wands. And this happens to be the aqua version. So we've got the silver with the aqua with the blue tip. Now this tip is the kind that screws on and off. I know that there are some on the market that kind of slide like just over it, um, but these are more widely found if you would need um, replacement tips. So we also have this in rose gold with white stones and it will have a white tip. And I do have white tips um, available in the shop if you guys would need to replace this for any reason. So those are in the shop now. This is probably one of my wide, most widely used tools besides um, my blending brushes in this, you know, in my craft room. So let's show you the stamps. <clears throat> I need to give a huge shout out to Lisa Alpert, and she's probably gonna yell at me when I get off the live, but she designed all of our packaging and it took a minute for us to get this right with uh, with the companies because we're both new. We're not graphic designers, but you would never know that she's not a graphic designer. She's amazing. She did a lot with the website. There will never be enough words that I could say or express to say thank you to Lisa. In fact, I'm ready to start kind of tearing up talking about it, but let's talk about a friend. She has been the best. So this stamp here is the lovely bouquet. And you'll see it says pajama crafter stamps and lovely bouquet. So <clears throat> a little bit about me and my husband who happens to be online right now. Sean is a Navy veteran. Thank you for your service, dear. I didn't know him back then, but thank you. It is very important to us as a company, as a couple, as a family, that we stay made in the USA. And so we have that on our packaging saying made in the USA. And we also have that this is a veteran owned company. Um, and that's important to us. So for all of you that have served or have family members that have served, thank you. But I wanted you to know that even our dyes are made here in the United States. We are trying our very hardest to keep everything sourced in the United States. That is so, so important to us. It's crazy stupid how important that is to us so um we're doing our best to keep it here guys um so this is lovely bouquet so it's it's rather large it takes up almost an entire panel then you've got the smaller rose here and a petal if you wanted to do some pop-ups or add more to your bouquet to give dimension our sentiment says happy mother's day and i love you and i think that that's a pretty multifaceted card you can color this in so many ways um what is that bird I'm seeing on the back? Is that Shalana? Here's this is Gracie. She is hi, uh, 17 years old. Um, I washed her about a month ago in some purple shampoo, so you might see a little bit of the purple on her. It doesn't penetrate all the way down to her skin. So it doesn't hurt her in any way. It just makes me have a tie-dye bird. It kind of makes me happy every once in a while to do this. But this is my love bug. She's very sweet. She loves me. Uh, we had a Christmas Zoom party, and our design team member, Wendy, every time Gracie would, like, raise the comb up, of, you know, on her head, 
Wendy would duck. It was the funniest thing ever, but this is probably the sweetest animal you ever want to meet. Hi, Jen. I'm so late to the party, but I had to join the group to come. Um, oh, sorry, Jen. Uh, sorry, yes, he is cute. Uh, yep. All right, so we're moving on. So this is one of my favorite stamps. We do not have a die for this just because of how big it is. We figured, you know, this this little rose and this petal or this leaf would be really easy to um, go ahead and fuzzy cut. She's talking, guys. Can you hear? What do you say? Huh? Are you a pretty bird? Your mama loves you. At least on camera, I do. All right, moving on. So these three dogs all have meaning. This is the My Best Friend stamp set. This is a lab. I actually at one time had three labs, so I they're just kind of my buddies. This is the Chihuahua, and then we've got the Yorkie, but you can make that look like a Westie and a couple others, depending on how you colored it. And then it says, um, you're in my thoughts, been missing you, and thanks for being my best friend. And that does have a die that coordinates and it will cut out all of these sentiments and the heart. Then we're moving on to Flippin' Best, which are, again, as an all-occasion stamp. You've got this one that's in the heart, so it could just be anything that you want it to be. You've got the one with the uh, balloons. And again, this could be a goodwill card. This could be a love you. This could be a birthday. Then we've got the cookie. And we've got the sentiments, happy flippin' birthday. I flippin' love you, and you're the flippin' best, and I love you more than cookies. Um, and then the die also cuts out all the images and the sentiments. Sliding by seems to be like one of the favorite stamps. So we've got three penguins, one's ice fishing, one's sledding, and one's ice skating. We've got a generic warm with your wishes so that you could use that at Christmas time or any time. You're a great catch and sliding by to say hi. And that's been a really popular stamp. And then this one, guys. This is called High Five. And there's a huge story behind that. Um, so the sentiments say, reach for the stars, high five, and then high five to Jesus if you want to use that sentiment, or high five to a job well done. So this is our cat, Clara. Clara is as big as, as Garfield, and she's as multicolored as you can imagine, and she's large. But every time Sean sits down at the table, um, she's got her hand up, and she's trying to get his attention. We always say she's giving a high five to Jesus. Um, and then we've got a smaller cat. This is actually Penny. This is our black and white cat. And whenever I am watching a church service online, she uh, raises her hand to, to the um, Christian music that's being played, that's playing. And then we've got the little mouse, we've got a fish, we've got the cat paw prints. And I don't know if you know, but there's a difference between dog prints, paw prints, and cat paw prints. It was very important that we differentiated that in our stamp. And we've got the stars, so that makes sense for the high five or reach for, reach for the stars. So. I unfortunately did not get done with making card samples of High Five. This is how I colored them. So this one looks more like Penny because she's got a lot of black markings. And the reason I colored her, let's, can we zoom in just there? Okay. The reason I colored her face so dark is any time that I see anybody color cats, they're always afraid to put like stuff like the mask around the eyes or whatnot, but that's really not how a cat looks. So I wanted to give everybody permission to color their cats exactly the way they look. Now this would be Clara, the big fat cat. I didn't put, she's got like half of her face as like a dark brown. I didn't do that. I just kind of hinted towards her brown and to show how big and fat and chubby she is. Um, but that's, that's her. And so if you, lay her like horizontal it almost looks like she's laying down so we kind of designed it so you could we left the eyes we didn't draw the bottom line into the eyes so that way you can make it look like she's looking up or looking down or looking straight at you so you've got some diversity and then we just put this cute little cat in there because well he's cute um 
Let's zoom back out. It looks like you guys are not in focus anymore. Okay, it looks like we're in focus on at least one of my screens. All right, so these are the cats. Um, I'm gonna do a video tomorrow, um, probably on the, I'm sorry, on the Pajama Crafter channel. Um, showing how I'm going to do a background or something for these guys, but I wanted you guys to see this. So, what are we going to do tonight? Hi, Bonnie. How are you? I was talking about you today. All good things, of course, but I just thought I'd tell you that I mentioned you. So, I cut out some tags, and I don't know if you guys know this, but we have nesting tags. We've got one that does like an outline. And we've got one that does just regular nesting dies in the shop. Now the regular nesting die, I think we only have three or four of those left. So if you need tags, go check those out before they're gone. But I used three papers. Um, I think that these were from not too shabby like two years ago. So they are no longer in the shop. I actually checked to see because everybody always wants to know what you're using. And um, they are not available right now. So... We're not going to do a whole lot of crafting today. Um, going to do a little bit. So I used four different tags. I actually, I didn't realize I picked up like three pieces of paper. So I've got some extras and I'll just save that somewhere. And we're going to use the flipping best stamp set. You can tell mine's very, very loved. I've stamped with it more times than I care to share, but, um, you gotta test your stamps, make sure they're okay before you put them out to the public. So we're gonna do that. Um, I flip and love you. Hi, B. You love those papers. I do too. Um, I think we need to bring some papers into the store. We're not quite there yet, but I think it's coming because everybody loves a good paper pack, and that's me included. So I'm gonna put these tags to the side. For right now for getting out my missing now I said this last week that um, I spilled alcohol in mine that's why the grid is missing yours would never look like this if you were buying a brand new misty or probably for years and years to come all right so hold on I'm gonna do my tags this way yes people it matters to me I just want to know which way I wanted it before, you know, because sometimes you can flip it around. It's not very good. It looks pretty straight to me. You know what? We're going to lower that down a little bit. It's always um, a struggle of mine because I need my reading glasses like crazy to be able to craft. They're always on top of my head, but I also need them off so I can see my screens. So if you guys notice, I'm looking all over the place. I have moved my computer screens over to the right of me, and they're on a tower now so that I'm not as boxed in, and my microphone is over here, so it's not like where all my stuff is stored. I am so out of whack. It's not funny. So... I'm going to bring out my handy dandy tool. Now I've primed this like three or four times talking to you guys, so we're not going to pump that anymore. And so we just primed that and we're going to use some Versa Mark. And so the reason I use the um, embossing tool is so that the powder does not stick where you don't want it. So I'm using Versa Mark ink. And that's a sticky ink that you emboss with. And that, what that means is the powder that we're going to use sticks to it long enough so that you can um, so that you can heat it up. So this is my stamp press tool. And we've got that in a couple different colors in the shop if you're interested. And I am telling you guys what's in the shop today. And that's just because it's a brand new website. And I don't know that everybody has even gotten the chance to visit... Um, either of the stores and you might be wondering kind of what we have because um, finding that not too many people knew about us necessarily so there we go my, 
my uh, counter back there is like my collector of all the junk. So right now I am just folding some paper so that I can funnel my powder back in. And this is just recollections um, embossing powder. If I was to choose another uh, embossing powder, I would probably go with the alabaster from um, Burgess Monroe. But I ran out of that a while ago and I've got recollections in my drawer, so we're going with it. But um, I really like this fine detail powder from um, Michaels. So it's the recollections brand and I highly recommend it. All right, so here's the time that if, if heat guns bother you, um, this would be the time to mute. Again, I did move my microphone kind of away from my tools, but here we go. So one thing about embossing tools, it's really good to let it heat up for a few seconds before you bring it to me. and then I'll just buff that off with my sleeve of my shirt. So in the meantime, let's talk about placement. I, since these are nesting tags, I kind of line them up as they are. And I'm gonna use my crocodile. And if anybody needs a crop -a dial, I'm just going to tell you now, Michaels has like a 40% off coupon that expires today. And if I was going to spend my money at on a crop -a dial, this would be where and when I would buy it. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just telling you that if you need one, I used a coupon on a Copic marker. I actually threw my one of my most widely used markers in the garbage can on accident. So I held these exactly where I wanted them so I could put one hole in there. I am not going to glue these together because I like it when my tags kind of fan out once I get everything together. So by now you guys know that I love a good gingham. And I do not... Um, I do not weed mine through and tie it like a knot. I actually use another piece of string or another piece of ribbon to um, tie a bow around it, just so I have I like I like tails on my um, on my tags. Lots of layers, lots of dimension, lots of texture. I like shopping because they've been twenty four seven, three sixty five. Yep, yep. This paper, I, like I said, was from Not Too Shabby. I looked it up minutes before coming on and it is not available not too shabby usually puts out like seasonal papers and then once they're sold out they don't come out again um but you know sometimes you just have to use what you have and i happen to love mine so i'm using my reverse tweezers um to hold my tails just makes it easier If I knew where my black twine is, and I, when I say that, it is really on my cart right next to me, but it's, you guys, this place is a nightmare. I was looking at my whiteboard, and I have my schedule up from two years ago, but no, a year, no, two years ago, May 30th through June 5th. I also have schematics on my um, electricity from when my husband put the lights up, so, um, there has not been a whole lot of organization that's gone into this craft room lately. In fact, um, he is scared to death to come in here. And I'm just going to tie that bow. And since this is just twine, we don't care if we're twisting it around or if it's not perfect. It is what it is. Somebody's trying to come in. It's one of the animals. I don't know who. So let's go ahead and cut these off a little bit. Did you 
guys see what I just did? I forgot to put my I love you on there. It would not be a night without me messing something up. So I'm using my sleeve just to buff off that powder. We are going to put a hole in this egg. And yes, we are just going to weave this right on through. One layer, we're not gonna take it all apart. What's the point? It's a tag, it's going on a gift, or it's, I don't know. I have a friend that uses, uh, that puts tags on her Christmas tree. So we all have different things that we like to do with tags. So I don't think there are any rules. You have to let me know if, if I broke any of your rules. Fiona's coming in. So, Sean's referring to Fiona, who's at the Cincinnati Zoo. I love her. Um, I have a mild obsession with her. If I could have a hippo for a pet that wouldn't eat me, I would have one. That and if the HOA would let me. But, I'm not on that board, so I can't I can't break the rules. Have you ever noticed that whoever's on the rule on the board of an HOA always is the one that breaks the rules? It's that's the truth. And how do I know? Because I used to be on the board for a short time until I realized that it's a governing body and you can't do much to change it. So, like you have to, I have like 75% of the of the residents vote. It's crazy. So you can't make changes in an HOA if you wanted to. All you can do is hope that you vote for the best person that's going to be at least um, nice, you know, but there's no changing bylaws. I don't know why I'm talking about HOAs. I guess it's um, a sore subject in my life. I got on the board because I don't like them. And I thought I could change things, but you can't. You just can't. All right. So here's our cute little penguin. Wouldn't he be cute, like on a Valentine's Day candy pack or something? I just, oh, he's so cute. So it says, I flippin' love you. And it's got the papers with love all over it, the hearts and the gingham. And who says that you can't put um, patterned papers together? I think it's just a matter of doing a light and a dark and a loud all together. And it works perfectly. I mean, it's just, it's the perfect combo. So that's what I have. So does anybody want to see, uh, Tina Barker, yes. Jen, no HOA was my husband's main requirement when we moved to Utah. So Jen, it was my requirement when we moved into this house too, and it does have its pros and cons. From my standpoint, it was just really hard to change any of the governing papers, and that's kind of what, what bugged me about it. But all right, here's our tag. So here's the rest of our bag of tricks. Who likes bling? So no glitter bombs today, but here's bling. We have fresh lilac. Is it fresh lilac? Something lilac. So we've got lilac. And we've got, well you guys have seen, oh you haven't seen this. This is so much fun for shakers. We should have made a shaker window. This is Mia Moore, and this has the little clay slices. It's got pink, red, and white hearts, and it's got some uh, round confettis. It's got some um, pearls in it, too. It, this is just super fun. So there we go. There's that one. Now, this is called Lemon Twist. Uh, Shaw got outvoted. We were gonna, he wanted it to be called Maze, but he was outvoted, so... This is the um, yellow, super pretty. And what I like about it is I don't think there's a lot of yellows that you can find other places. So that's why we wanted to bring it in. All right. We have, this is a professional show here, guys. We have snow flurries, which has, looks like candy sprinkles and uh, blue and white uh, flurries in it. And for all of you paper lovers, me included, we've got the penguin parade. So these are all little tiny penguins in there. 
super, super cute. This one is the Night Out. See, these are like half back metallic pearls. And you've got uh, three different sizes of black, silver, and gold that are in here. And shut up. This is my favorite color. You guys, I didn't seal that one very well. Oh, I guess this one's mine. So this is a line. So, okay, and each of the uh, embellishments are going to come with a half of a tablespoon of, of um, sequins. We have this super hot pink color, and they're all the AB shifts, so you've got the, um, it's like a cabochon. We've got, you see, boyfriend blue. What else? Oh, guys, this is so pretty. This is the new penny. It's a beautiful cop copper color. We've got a black, which is the lump of coal. We also have like a snow furry one that's got the blue snowflakes, the penguins, and pearls in it, and it's magnificent. There's only about 10 of those left on the website, so if you want that one, I would say grab it. Um, let me show you the black of the lump of coal. So, this is like a container that diamond dots come in, so a half a tablespoon will fill that maybe a half to three-fourths of the way, so it's a quite a bit of gems that you get, but this is the black, and you'll see all the different sizes in there. So you've got anywhere between three millimeter and five millimeter, three different sizes in there, so it just makes for a really good um, size for your car so that you can, you know, have different dimensions and stuff depending on what you want it for. But yeah, I am, I am over the moon with this uh, release. It's um, doing very well. We've had a lot of good feedback, and um, hopefully we sell out of it, right? That's, that's the goal, so that we can keep bringing you guys new stamps. But this is what I have for tonight. And don't forget, we do carry Barely Art Glue. And we've got the Cupcake glue holders so your glue will fit inside that and the, so this is a magnet so your pin will stick to it I don't have a loose pin anywhere but that's what I've got Joy do you have cosmic in the studio um, I don't so cosmic is like a black to purple shift cha changing cabochon it's stunning and it would be perfect for your galaxies or anything like that. What else? Um, sh okay, y'all, let me go grab. Do you want me to go grab Cosmic? The glue holder is very cute. I put um, Velcro on the bottom of mine because I glue it to my desk because I push everything off. But we've got it in. We've got it in this purple and yellow, and we also have it in purple and teal. All right, Sandy, give me a minute. I'm gonna go across the hallway. It's a big trip to go find these. Hold on, be right back. Did you miss me? Gracie will entertain us. Gracie is a scaredy cat, actually. And she's not saying much. She's usually the one you guys hear screaming in the background. Let me um, get my little triangle dish here.
Do you see how those are black, but then it picks up a teal and a purple? I could watch that all day long. It's like the perfect galaxy sky. In fact, I can't wait to make a galaxy with it. So, Cosmic is beautiful. Um, Lisa's already ordered every pack that we own, so that's one pack that's already gone that <laughs> you guys can't get your hands on, but Cosmic is beautiful. Um, even the Olympical is really pretty. Um, I never thought I'd be like putting black gems on my cards, but I love it, guys. In fact, I think I used it on one of these cards over here today. In fact, um, since they're on my desk, why don't we go ahead and bling this up a little bit? Do I have my little blingy pin? I have everything perfectly um, chaotic right now. There's my pin. Alright, so it's got that nice point on it to help you with your dye release and then it's got the wax tip on it. So I'm going to put my glasses on because I cannot see these blings for the life of me. And we're going to just... I'm using the smaller ones on the heart. And we can go ahead and put one down here. So we've got that little triangle going. And I'm going to use one of the bigger ones for that. Very, very pretty. And then you guys know that I like a little red heart. So these are not in the shop. These are just from my stash, but up here, and you guys know I have an extensive stash because I was a huge crafter before I ever had a pajama crafter or a prickly pear, so I, you know, I've got stuff <clears throat> for years of collecting. But you know what's funny is I don't find myself crafting with anything but my stuff now. Like I could probably get rid of it more than three-fourths of my room. And there we go. So, you guys, I flippin' love you. I'm borrowing my saying from my stamp set. I would love to know what you guys think of the new release. What you guys think of the samples. Um, anybody else? You're going to come over and steal one. Uh, the penny is absolutely stunning. And you know what? We almost did not carry that. Lisa will tell you that. We were going back and forth. Do we want that? Do we not want that? And we ultimately did. So this is our cute little tag who says that we can't do quick little projects instead of these great big things all the time. I mean, crafting is here so that we can have fun and we can hang out with each other. And um, guys, I am truly blessed that I get to hang out with you guys. I am truly blessed that I'm able to make stamps and dyes and bring all the blingy things on. And this is not possible, one, without my husband. And two, it's not possible without you guys. But um, I, I thank you so much for supporting us, loving us. And um, I can't wait to see what you make with our new release. So drop me a, a comment below. Let me know what, uh, what your favorite stamp set is. And um, I, I always like to know what those are. I can kind of tell by numbers as they sell, just so that I know what kind of styles of stamps that I can bring in for our next releases and stuff like that. We are planning on like an every other month release, um, just so that we aren't, how do I want to say this? People matter. Their pocketbooks matter to me. And I know that these monthly releases or multi releases a month can really like put a hole in people's pockets and you don't know where to spend your money and usually by the time you receive your order you are already like the next release is already coming out and then you never touch what you order and I want you guys to be able to play with and enjoy the product so it's going to be every other month ish uh, for releases we might throw like some printable stuff in or we might do like some foilable type stuff that's just kind of a 
thing for you guys to be looking for, you know, in the near future. But um, our big releases will be at least every other month. So if that's what we're planning on doing. Um, yeah, that's all what I've got. The, the website looks great, still browsing around. So Lisa Alpert is saying that it still needs some fine tuning. And she's right. There are some descriptions that we need to update and stuff. Let's, we just kind of ran out of time. We basically put this website together in a very short amount of time. Um, and we did it originally because I needed a point of sale system for shows. And then it turned into, oh, we're going to, we're going to run the store on it. So that's how it evolved. It went very fast and, you know, we're just putting it together. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you to my friend Amanda. I haven't seen her pop on, but those two ladies have been super supportive. of My design team, man, they had a quick turnaround from the time that, the, you know, they started on January 1st. Our release went on the 8th, and they put out amazing samples. And you guys, I'm just over the moon with what they've done. So thank you i did not sleep except for like two hours last night because i was so nervous about this release so as soon as i jump off here i am going to bed so any orders that you place i'm not going to fill till tomorrow morning anyway so all right bye have a good night i'll see you next wednesday Bye bye